carrying the weight of the world on his shoulders. Oh, no, I feel like a bridegroom just starting out in life. And I feel as happy as a new bride. <laughs> Come in, Max. Oh, well, I'll have you so-called newlyweds know you do have a grown daughter. So, say when? Well, I have to come down to Earth sometime. <clears throat> oh. So, someplace, huh? Oh, when you said furnished, you really meant it. Yeah, down to the last detail. Oh, yeah, why don't you uh, put them upstairs? Thanks a lot. <laughs> so, all you ladies have to do is unpack. And the closet, where do you see your closets? Fabulous. Well, I hope I have enough clothes to fill them up. Oh, I'm sure you will. I have no <laughs> doubt about it. So, what's wrong? Huh? Uh, well, a thought just occurred to me. Yeah, what's your problem? How can we afford to pay for this? Okay, it's a little bubbly to celebrate. Uh, huh. Didn't pull <laughs> champagne before lunch. Oh, yeah. And after lunch. Oh, and what are we going to do for dinner? Well, we'll open up another bottle. Oh, okay, <laughs> I'll force myself. <laughs> well, I tell you, you're going to have the whole day because you got a day off to enjoy. Isn't that great? Well, excuse me, but uh, I'm going to go check out the rest of the digs. Sure. Let me tell you, you really deserve this after all the overtime that you put in. Thanks. Okay, here's to us and our house. Our new house. Brock, we're avoiding the issue. <laughs> what issue? This is the issue. The question I asked you before. Now, how will we afford to pay for this and the cottage both at the same time? Relax. Come on, I found a tenant for the cottage. Okay, that takes care of that mortgage. But what about the mortgage here? Will it you be enormous. Just stop. Worrying your pretty head about it and drink your champagne, I can handle it. Okay, okay. You say you can handle it? I'll relax. Out of way. <laughs> well, don't try so hard. I mean, <laughs> what's so funny? Do you, uh, do you really want to live with this decor? Well, it's, uh, I would say, uh, rather exotic. That it is. Uh, <laughs> I think we can get used to it. I mean, try it. I tell you what, if you don't like it, we'll redecorate, okay? Oh, it's beautiful. I think we can do without the plastic on the chairs. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> uh, huh? Oh, it is fabulous. Oh, you should see my bedroom, Bobby. You haven't even seen the master bedroom yet. Oh, it's exotic, really. Oh, don't tell me. Two straw mats and we unrolled them at night. This I have to see. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we'll right <laughs> Good, uh, Joe. You happy? Oh, I am... Ecstatic, that Teddy. is what I want to hear. Yes. Mm. And yes. I am going to get a job, Daddy. I, you'll see. I mean, you're going to be so proud of me. I promise. forgotten about the party tonight at the TV studio, have you? You kidding? I've been looking forward to it all day. And so have I. I've put your tuxedo out for you. Great. You, uh, you want to help me get into it? Oh, do we have time? We work fast. Oh, but what fun is that? Besides, we're expecting Sean any minute. Well, if the doorbell rings, we'll just ignore it. Well, what do you think? I tell you what. I'll help you get out of your tuxedo later on this evening. It's a deal. Good evening. Oh, not ready yet, eh? No, well, I've got to go up and fight the silverfish in my tuxedo. <laughs> <laughs> Running a bit behind schedule. What uh, have you two been up to? Oh, nothing nearly as interesting as you might imagine. 
Mm. I just got in. But I tell you right now, I am looking forward to getting away from police routine for just one bloody evening. Excuse me. We planned. Oh, I wrote this one as a kid. Everything all set? As far as I know. Good. Frisco? Yeah, just relaxing a little, ready to go. Yeah. How's the voice? <clears throat> Never felt better. I was gonna get a workout tonight. Yeah, this may be the fullness of your career. Yeah, well, rising to the occasion is what I do best. I hope so. Several newspapers are running features on this party. By tomorrow morning, Frisco Jones and Ginny Blake will be the talk of this town. Yes, sir, ladies, this is gonna be some party. <laughs> I'm sure. You can count on it. I'm counting on you. Hey, I'm not going to let you down. You either, Terry. I'm going to be my best behavior tonight. I want to tell you that. <laughs> you both, wait a minute. You're both going to be very proud of me. Oh, well, in that case, I'll go get our coat. I'll help you. I'll... Okay. the editor's office, please. Thanks. Hello, this is Ian Sheldon's secretary. Good, this is D.L. Brock. I'm a, I'm a personal friend of uh, your boss. Yes, we have a, a special meeting set up for tonight. Yeah, we're supposed to touch base at this uh, party over at the TV studio. Yeah, I'm just calling to make sure that everything's okay. Oh, terrific. Terrific. Yeah. Well, look, you tell him that I'll be expecting to see him tonight as planned, and that D.L. Brock has the stuff that makes headlines as promised, okay? Fine. Goodbye. I am so happy for you. I... You must be thrilled yourself. I am. Well, you deserve the recognition. I'm glad to see you're finally getting it. I hope that every TV station and every newspaper around is there to cover it. Rick, it's just a TV show. No, it is not just a TV show. It happens to be your show, and I couldn't be prouder of you. Got a problem. What? My tie. I can't get it right. Will you oh. just give me a hand? I'll try. Thank you. Uh. Looks like I'm not the only one with the jitters. Hey. Your hands are like ice. Would you relax? This is a party. Only a party. Even if you are the guest of honor. I I'm just a little nervous, Rick. Why are you so nervous? I, I don't know. I can't help it. Mine well, probably figure it out. You can? Yeah, it's obvious. What's that? Pressure. You're beginning to feel the stress of the new job. Uh, yeah, you know, you're, somebody, you're probably right. All right, but it's because you're so good. It's because you are the best in what you do that you happen to be in this position. I just hope I um, live up to everybody's expectations. You lived up to mine, but you have far exceeded mine. I am behind you, Mrs. Weber, 100%. Thank you, Rick. I told you lately that uh, I love you. No, you haven't. Well, I do. Very much. Oh, I love you, too. And I think... Thank you for all the support. What is a husband for? Boy, this is going to be fun! Uh, don't we have a rule in this house that you knock first before you come in the door? Uh, hmm? Yeah, I'm sorry, but I just wanted to say thanks for letting me come along. We wouldn't have it any other way, Mike. Would we? Absolutely not. This is a night for the entire family. Well, so what are we waiting for? Let's go. Okay, we'll be right there. Give me a minute. A minute. All right, all right. I'll, I'll wait for you in the car. Okay. Don't drive off. I'm on. Okay. Uh, keys. Keys to the car. I've my keys. got my keys. Good. We all set? Yeah, except for um, what? one little thing. Let me see if I can uh, get this tied. Try again. You look wonderful. I'd better, because I don't want to blow your big thing. Mm. Test one, 
two, three, test. Testing, one, two. We're having a party. Okay. T hey, Dirk. Here's the plan for this evening. My plan for this evening is to have a good time. I want you and Ginny in the reception line with me for the first half hour. Or so. Reception line? I didn't know we were going to be that formal. The whole point of the evening is to showcase you and Ginny. Okay, okay. you're the boss. You're the All right. Boss. After we receive the guests, you can mingle. Mingle? What about uh, showtime? I want to tell the guys. Later. I'll open up the evening with a short speech. All right? No, no, it'll be, it'll be short. Okay, then we'll have uh, the presentation. The syndication people will say a few words. You'll follow them, and then we'll have some highlights of Ginny's interviews. Well, How that sound? Okay? Don't bother me with technicalities. Point me in the right direction, and I'll be there. Okay, buddy? Have a good night. All night, man. Um, excuse me. That's just another party. Yes, but this one is celebrating you and Ginny. Oh, you must be on cloud nine. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a good time, but uh, I'll tell you what, I could trade this whole thing to spend the night with you alone. A bottle of wine. Well, there's plenty of time for that later. Tonight is special. Just quite just want to tell you how proud I am of you. Without you. I wouldn't be doing this, okay? So many bows I take tonight. I'm taking it for the both of us. I'm going to keep mine. Let me meet you. All right, Don. Hey, Jay. I wonder if Donnelly's arrived yet. Well, we're here to be the first to arrive. I don't know what I'm doing here in the first place, especially since Monica was called in on an emergency. Why were you so anxious to get here anyway? Well, I've got a red-hot pro business proposition for him. The deal can't wait. I've got to talk to the man. I just hope we don't talk about Donnelly all night. That's all you and Monica seem to talk about now. Donnelly, 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 Donnelly. Hello, Hi. Alan. How are you? Hey, Derek. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, Congratulations. Thank you. Oh, Thanks a lot. Derek, Thank we you. are all so excited about your syndication. Yeah, yeah well, well, it's a big move, but I think we're ready for it. If not, we'll find out soon enough. Well, I'm sure this venture will be a huge success. Oh, well, of course, if it has Derek Barrington's name on it. I told you my nephew would really make things change in Port Arthur. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Thank so you, proud that it couldn't happen. Can I get you a drink, a man? Oh, no, no, not right now. Thank you. You go ahead. I'll be with you. Right. Oh. Excuse me, Derek. Please. Excuse me, Mrs. Barrington. Yes, hello. How are you? Ian Shelton, Mr. Barrington. Yes, Mr. Shelton. I'm familiar with your newspaper. Your people do some excellent work, by the way. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, can we make it uh, Ian and Derek? Certainly. Ian, uh, I hope uh, you'll give our projects uh, favorable reviews. Mm -hmm. Well, from what I can see so far, I can practically guarantee you'll get raves. Oh, wonderful. Uh, listen, uh, the old Brock hasn't showed up, has he? He wants uh, uh, he has something to do. No, he's not here yet, but uh, he will be here soon, I imagine. He's definitely on the guest list. Great. Thank okay. you. Okay. Shall we... Uh... Would you like me to... There. If you were any more handsome, I wouldn't let you out of my sight all evening for fear... Some starlet would steal you away from yeah. me. If one does, I have a shoulder you can cry on. No blubbering this evening. There will be no phone calls. There will be no police meetings. There will be no emergencies. There will just be lots of dancing, mm -hmm. carousing, and us enjoying ourselves. Oh, we've had our share of that, haven't we? Yeah. To the good time. Yes. Past, present, and, and future. future. Cheers. Long Cheers. may they continue. <laughs> mm. I would like to propose a toast. Oh? That the only things we talk about this evening are things that all three of us have in common. Just for once, I don't want to be the odd woman out. Fair enough. I promise. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, musketeers, shall all three sally forth? Yes. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, and listen. Uh, this party turns out to be a bummer. We're going to split and hit the town. Ah. This evening, I shall tolerate no boredom, all right? No boredom. There's one night in my life that I want to get. Right away, from police business. Sounds good to right. me. Right. Sounds excellent to me. Madam. Thank you. Sir. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Nice to out there. Yeah. Uh, oh. I wish Josh could have met us here. It would have been nice. We all could have gone together. Oh, I know, but he's going to meet us there. So... Come on, dear, let's go. Come on, why don't you hurry? Why don't you sit down and have a drink? Oh, Daddy, we don't want to be late for the party. Who doesn't? I want us to be the last ones to arrive at that party. Why? So I'm making uh, grand entrance. Why else? 
Me sweeping in with two beautiful women on my arms? My I'll lock them dead. D.L., I hate to be the one to break the news to you, but the party tonight is not for you. I know that, but I'm the one that's going to make the biggest impression. Oh, really? And how do you plan to do that? In my own inimitable fashion. Okay, honey, but if we don't get going, there won't be any guests left to impress. You sure you don't want one for the road? Honey, there's going to be plenty to drink at the party. Come on, let's go. Daddy, let's go. Okay, okay, but I'm going to drive slow. Uh, oh, come on. Uh. Are Josh wearing a tux? I don't know. say that because it's true out for a night on the town <laughs> yeah we'll go to a party well good have fun thanks we will good night good night good night good night, good night. Good night. Good night. i'm off too uh i'll be at home if you need me i don't know why i should uh, don't forget uh when you take your 10 o'clock coffee break be sure to lock the stairwell door down here uh there have been some reports of suspicious types hanging around the neighborhood i'll take care of it good good night Nothing wrong with the company, it's just a victim of 
business management. You see a lot of that these days. Yeah, don't you ever? Well, they're going to file for bankruptcy soon. Now, if we move fast and form a limited partnership, we can snap that thing up for a song. What do you say? Uh, the only fast move I want to make right now, Edward, is toward the buffet. I'm starved. Well, excuse me. <laughs> you. Oh, well, thank you very much. Oh, well, this lady's coming. Fine. It's a lot of hard work, but I really love it. Keep at it. I'm tired of being the only Aztec scholar in this town. <laughs> Alan. Emily. Did you have a nice talk with my father? Yes, he's trying to interest me in a business deal. What do you think of it? You're asking me? Yes, you're his son. All I can say is that when a Quartermain talks, everybody listens. Even if that Quartermain happens to be Jimmy Lee. Right? People in this crowd don't care. And those who do are well aware of what's going on with you by now. See? Pass the mustard. The worst ratings in history. Go down. Don't be silly. You're great. Both of you are. Thrilled for you. Thank you. I can safely say that without these two, there wouldn't be any syndication. So to commemorate the occasion, I'd like to present Ginny and Frisco with these two plaques. Now, I know you two will have awards on your walls years to come, but I hope there'll always be room for these two. Remember, I gave you a start. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Jenny Blake. I hope that's not an omen of things to come. Uh, uh, no, I just thought the evening needed a little comic relief. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Frisco Jones. Thank you. One more time, ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for poor Charles' newest and brightest TV stars, Jenny Blake and Frisco Jones. Yeah. If you need to refill your glasses, now's the time to do it. Because the musical portion of our show will begin shortly with a performance by Frisco. She and I go way back. I know all about her background. She is one very interesting woman, I'll tell you. Jenny, no, you're going to sit down with Mike over there. I will bring you a plate of food. Let's go. Thank you. Uh, DL, uh, you, you got me? No, not really. Uh, well, I just wanted to ask you whether or not you have any idea when the waterfront project is going to be finished. Uh, soon. Uh, DL, I've got a list of people as long as my arm waiting for those apartments. Uh, well, look, I said soon. I'm working as fast as I can. I mean, these lousy welfare cases, you make it like it's the most important thing in the world. Brian, please. They're not. Control. Believe me. Brian, Brian, they're not. Brian, you excuse me? Would you mind if I steal my husband away? There's someone I'm dying for him to meet. Yeah, please look, do. I just want to say congratulations. Let's Jenny. go talk to Frisco. You don't know the food, the food will come to you. Ah. You look pale. I'm all right, I'm all right. I think I am a... Sure you are. I'm, no. I'm fine. Just a little bit. Food will take care of that, right? Thank you. Oh, you're a tough lady to reach. I just wanted to wish you all the very best. Uh, you've worked very hard to get what you wanted, and you deserve what you're getting. By all means, you deserve it. Nice to see you. you know? Thank you. 
minutes before I go on stage. Hello. This is torture. Do you know that? <laughs> what is? Having to deal with that crowd out there when all the work is be wrong with you. Oh, you love all that attention. Yeah. And I would trade all of that one kiss for me. found me. Congratulations, man. Now you can, you can go about your business. Hey, look, sorry, old pal, but uh, it's showtime. If you have teenagers, you know him. If you don't know him, you've heard of him. And if you've never heard of him, where have you been? He's solid gold. He started with the riffraff, moved over to Teen Time, and will soon star in his own musical variety show. He's here to sing a few songs for you, if we can locate him. Frisco, are you out there? There he is, ladies and gentlemen, Frisco Jones. Thank you. Thank you for showing up tonight. We're going to start off with a song uh, we put together a little while ago. It's called After the Fact. your whole sordid story to him. You've heard of the power of the press, haven't you? Well, I'm going to use it to destroy you. You got that? Why are you doing this to me? Because you have ruined me, and I'm just returning the favor. First of all, <clears throat> you blamed me for Rick's blackmail. <laughs> you did blackmail me. Then you wormed your way into this, this marriage with him, this marriage in name only. You refused to satisfy your husband. And because of that, Rick went after Bobby. Oh. So you drove, wait a minute, you drove Rick to steal my wife. That is not true. That is true. I could kill you for that, you understand that? Nobody makes a fool out of D.L. Brock, nobody. And I got something here I want to show you. You know what this is? This is your rap Give sheet. That. That's right. Give it's your that. rap sheet from, from Florida. Give me that. Tomorrow morning, this rap sheet, I'm taking care of it. This rap sheet is going to be on the front page of every single newspaper in this town. Let me ask you something. How would you like being in jail, huh? Because you're going to have to answer an awful lot of nasty questions about okay. that period in your life. 
You understand what I'm saying to you? Why you don't do this to me, Rob? As, what do you mean, don't do this to you? You were old enough. However old you were, I you was were. Only that's right. 17. That's right. Wait, just wait a minute. Those just be quiet. On me. What? They were planning? Oh, sure they were. Don't you know every jailbird is innocent? They're never guilty of anything. Try convincing the press of that. Just remember, tomorrow morning, Rick, this TV station, Little Mike, everybody. The whole world is going to know the truth about Ginny Blake. Or should I say, Virginia Gallup? No. Don't. General Hospital will continue in a moment. You're alone, and I feel alive again. Now, what the hell is going on? I can't leave you alone for a minute. Yeah, please. Don't well, please me. I'm tired of you running after him. I'm just tired of him. I am doing nothing but dancing with you. Yeah, well, that's it. You keep out of this weather. If you were half a man, you'd look after your own wife and not go sniffing after mine. Honey, you all right? No, she's not all right. Now I'm the one that's going to take care of it. I'm going to straighten her out. Daddy, understand? Daddy, just stop. You'll be quiet. D.L., I am warning you. I am not going to take much more of this You're from you. You're going to take exactly what I hand out. You keep your mouth shut, you understand me? I'm going to teach you a lesson once and for all. No woman runs out on me. I have no had one. it with you. You don't want to run on me. I don't want to see you again. I'll go with you. You can stay at my place. Well, you're satisfied now, huh? You're ruining my marriage. You're satisfied? Why don't you go run after her? Let's go. That's what you want to do, isn't it? Let's go. Who are you? Let's go. What are you going to do? We can do this the easy way or the hard way. Either your place or the slave. I don't care. You can't listen. What's the charge? Disturbing the peace of the starters, then I'll get a lot more creative. Get him out of here. Follow, sir. Scorpio's men are escorting Brock home. Dance with me. Uh, honey, in a while, um, I have to go talk to the syndicated bank. This is syndication for the show. Okay. Come on, Brock. Come on, Brock. Rick, I wouldn't have blamed you if you punched him out. Ruby, I would like to, but it would just make it worse for Jimmy, for everybody. This way it's over. We've had our excitement for the night, right? Yeah. Treat you. Thank you, I could use it. about Frisco. Dynamite. Seen those figures? It's the highest pre-approvals we've ever had. Can't miss, but you know that girl? She's somewhat of an unknown. Well, Barrington thinks the sun rises and falls with her. Well, let's hope that he's not trying to impress a uh, potential girlfriend. You mean, give me my own TV show. I'll follow you anywhere. Well, at least the tape should tell us whether she can. Here she is, General. Uh, we were just saying how thrilled we were that Derek chose you for the show. It's going to be big. Very big. Demographics are going through the roof. Market research now tells us you're exactly what the audience is looking for. We've targeted women from 18 to 49. Above average income, well-educated, career-oriented. 
you will do personal appearances. I... Well, of course you will. I mean, Ginny's behind this show 100%. <coughs> uh, by the way, who do you think you've interviewed? Uh, well, we've, uh, we've got a couple yeah. of people. Here. Well, we have some suggestions. Oh, indeed we do. See, we can tell you exactly who, a 30-year-old legal secretary in Albany making $20,000 a year, BA degree, and children's lit wants to hear you interview. Isn't research glorious? By the way, the early reaction to the proposal has been very positive. Now, we're going to have to send her clippings from the newspaper articles about the syndication. You better get used to seeing your name in print. <laughs> Where's Jenny? Larry and some other men in a meeting. next song I would like to dedicate to my princess because she's a lady in my heart. to send me home, accompanied by his flunkies. If he wasn't a cop, I would really... What do you... Wait, 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 get out of our way. Where do you think you're going with as those? As far away from you as we can well, go. Like hell you are. You want me to call the police? Because I will if I have oh, to. Oh, I bet you'll call the police. Go ahead, call the police. You got a lot of experience with the police, don't you? On both sides of the law. At least when you were a hooker, you got paid for it. Now you just <laughs> give it away to every doctor who asks, don't you? You cheap <laughs> tramp, you. You're the lady. on his doorstep. You thought you could gang up on me, didn't you? The two of you. Huh? Two against one? Well, I think that's bad. And I think I'm going to even up the odds right now. That's right. Here we go. Even up, up the odds. What about that? that gun? No, I may need this gun. Don't you see it? I may need this. 
That's right. Where are you going? Where are you going? You're going to call some friends? We got a private party here. You're not going to call anyone. You're not going to call anyone. Jerry, run, run, run. Get help. I can't leave. The gun is going to get help. I can handle it. Go. 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 Where is she going? Go. Get away from me! Well, do that again. Just don't do that again. D.L. I'm warning you. Listen. You don't want to hurt anybody. You don't want to shoot just anybody. So just, just give don't me be the wise. Gun. Just, just stay give over me there. The gun. Give me the gun. I'm not giving you anything. We will sit down. We're Look not sitting there. down. Time for talk is done. Do you understand Honey. that? I'm Honey. telling you, it's done. Honey, you need help. I what? Need... What did you say? I need help? What do you think? I'm crazy? No, I'm not crazy. I... I'm the only sane person here. You are crazy. So don't you say I need help? I think... This is the only help I need. You understand that? Gentlemen, right now I'd like to call your attention to the TV monitors that are set up around the room in this large screen that will be shown behind me. I'm very proud to present a videotape of the best of Ginny Blake. Frisco and Ginny will be available afterwards for questions and discussion, but right now, Ginny Blake. Terry? Fine, now it's your turn. Coming! Well, 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 look who's here. Why don't you come in? Well, what can I do for you, Mrs. Geller? Hmm? I want that rap sheet, bro. Oh, why'd you come all the way over here for that? It's going to be plastered all over the papers tomorrow morning. I can't morning. wait that long. Give me the sheet, bro. And finally, at home, keep all firearms and ammunition under lock and key. Anything. Come and get it. Don't try anything, Neil. With a gun pointed up my chest? Take it easy. Now, just don't. Uh -huh. Take it easy. No! Yeah. Next time you point a gun at a man, don't use a prop gun. It's not even loaded. 
Well, I am begging you. You're begging me. Big Mrs. Rick Weber is begging me. Before you were threatening to blow my brains out, now you're on your knees. Give me that. Well, you like guns so Give much? Give me that. How about oh, looking down the no. barrel of a real one? Huh? Please help me. There are people who refuse to leave their homes at night for fear of being assaulted. Now, in that sense, are we not all already victims of crime? And the question is, what are we going to do about this reign of urban terror? Now, you have mentioned citizens. Now, I would like to get your definition. You seen Jenny? Oh, but I hope she's close. We'll need a Obviously discussion. Obviously, we're not talking about shades of gold. Last around. Thanks. It's back quite a few, quite a few years. So I think it would be helpful if the audience understood exactly what kind of issues, how they would operate. Try crawling. Talk nice to me. Come on, plead with me. Well, I will. It wouldn't do you any good anyway. Kiss your new life goodbye, Geller. Oh! This is David Hartman. Monday, Inauguration Day, Vice President George Bush and First Lady Nancy Reagan join us, along with Rich Little and Patricia Neal. Later in the week, Barbara Walters, Ali McGraw, and Kathleen Turner on Good Morning America. Tonight, Benson goes to bat for the kids when a city official tries to stamp out... General Hospital will not be seen today.